if you have watched my video on scopes for Quarkus application using Keycloak, then you can jump to the timeline provided below. Let us suppose that we want to create a restaurant as well as update a restaurant using this put and post mapping. I want admin to create a restaurant and manager to update a restaurant. Let's see with the current configuration without the scopes, how does the application behave? I have already started the application here. Let me log in using admin. I'm just creating a dummy. No changes. Create. And a dummy restaurant has been created by admin user because the policy to create a restaurant says admin can create a restaurant. Let me update this same restaurant using admin. Try it out. Dummy update. So the same user, admin user is able to create as well as update. But our requirement here is Suresh should update and not admin. For login using Suresh and try to update, it says unauthorized. So how can we achieve this kind of scenario in the key log? That can be achieved using the scope and HTTP scope method configurations. Let me do that. We can create the scopes here using this and post. I'm not going to add any other stuff here. And you can see I'm providing this in caps. Uh, if you provide in small letter, it's not going to work. Save. Similarly, let me create the rest of the methods. I have created all these HTTP methods. So we have the requirement saying admin can create a restaurant and Suresh can update a restaurant. Let's create the policies accordingly. I'll delete this. Create a policy, role based policy. Admin can create a restaurant, save and create another policy. Suresh is the manager, manager, save. So we have two policies over here, create restaurant policy and update restaurant policy. And the resource is not going to change, but I'll just update the name create update and authorization scopes. What were the scopes for us? Post as well as put. So this REST API resource can be used for put as well as post request. Save. Now I have deleted the permission already. I need to create a permission for, if you see now, create scope based permission is enabled because we have already added the scopes for create restaurant permission we need to use this same resource and authorization scope here will be post because we want to create a permission for create restaurant and the policy will be create restaurant policy that's it save Let's create a permission for update restaurant permission as well using scope based update restaurant permission resources will be create update resource itself because we added both put and post since this is update restaurant permission I will use put and the policy will be update restaurant policy and save. That's it. The configuration on the key clock side is done. Let's enable the HTTP based scopes in the Spring Boot application. And for that, we need to go to policy enforcer JSON. 
let me stop the application add this as true save and start the application the application has started let me reload this and to create admin thrice create dummy one and create so it works because here in the permission for create restaurant create restaurant policy is enabled and in the policy if you see admin is responsible for that let's see if it allows admin to update the restaurant update and so it says you do not have the permission and who has the permission to update manager suresh is the manager let me log in using suresh suresh and authorize there you go one thing to note here is if i try to update the price so let me log in using amar because amar has the role of owner and if you see the configuration for updating the price item price owner is required login using amar if i update the price for this so it says forbidden so the reason here is once you have added the http method scope you need to add the authorization scopes for each of the resource that are configured here for update menu item resource here if you see authorization scope was empty now i'm going to put because it is update save and execute there you go so that's it for this video in our next video we will see the different policies these policies in detail thanks for watching